so today we are in uh, Brownington, Vermont, a way on up north. It's probably it's probably uh, half an hour, 45 minutes above where I live. In 18, uh, yes, 1836, there's a, a really well-known stone building. It's called the Old Stone House right now. Um, it used to be called Athenian Hall. Not sure why, but it was way back when they built it. It was built by uh, Alexander Twilight. He was the first African American to graduate from a college in these, these here United States, which is pretty cool. It's also a fun fact. Uh, there's a college, well, they changed the name to a university now down in Lindenville. Linden State College it was, and now it's mm, some NVU, some Northern Vermont University. Um, they actually named the theater at the university after Alexander Twilight, which is kind of interesting. So the stone house was built under some controversy, as almost anything is nowadays. The, uh, he wanted, Alexander Twilight wanted it built bigger. The local uh, uh, zoning board, not, they didn't have zoning back then, the local boards wanted it smaller. And he was also the pastor of the Congregational Church here in town. So they went back and forth for quite a while, and finally they said, never mind, you do what you want. And apparently, from what I understand, I wasn't there, but they said, do what you want. And so he built it. Um, we'll do a little drone flyover so that you can see it uh, from above. And you know what else? We, we're, where we're located right now has a 360 degree view. If we walk around, so, that's Vermont over there. Hey, let's go back over here for a minute. I have a lovely uh, camera girl, lady, young woman. What are you, young woman? Hi. Uh, <laughs> my daughter is who it is. Over there is, um, I did a video on Mount Pisgah and Mount Hoar. This is from the, the north side, looking south, of Lake Willoughby. So that's that. So if we circle all the way around 180 degrees or so. That's uh, Canada. Beyond, it's pretty hard to make out. That that's uh, Lake Memphremagog way over there. It's also the Coventry landfill. Um, the mountains way over are Canada. I have done a, uh, a story on Runaway Pond a few weeks back. And that would be, you can't see from, if you go way over here, way out that way towards beyond Barton, it might even be further, further south that way, over into Glover, where the, the uh, well, that's another whole story, but anyway, someone dug a, a trench and it ended up, ended up eroding and the whole lake ran away. It just flooded two billion gallons of water they estimate uh, and that was back in the early 1800s 1800s so back over here the water ran all the way from there down to Lake Memphremagog and they say that are we are we focused on the on that young lady thank you <laughs> focused on on that it raised that lake Lake Memphremagog a foot that's how much water came all the way down through this valley, following the river streams, river beds, all the way down to there. That was an amazing, awesome, had to be terrifying to anybody that was in the way. Anyway, back to Old Stone House. This Athenian Hall was uh, the Orleans County Grammar School, apparently. It required the, uh, the students to travel quite a distance, so they would have to make accommodations for them for a place to stay, so they would actually board there at, at the school. The size of this stone house is about 26, by 66, 26 feet by 66 feet.
The building has four floors with uh, 22 rooms. As years went by, the, uh, the property ended up actually closing and having, um, because the, the student enrollment dropped off and it sat empty for a while and uh, eventually the Orleans County Historical Society bought it and it's now a historical museum place you can visit. It's well worth the trip wherever you're coming from. It's, a, it's just a beautiful stone house, stone building and the town itself is very quaint. Just a, a beautiful little town. All right, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks a lot.